All right. Here we go with the next mock draft. Are you ready? I wasn't good enough. I said, are you ready? And here we go, and we're off. Thanks to everybody watching this on replay. Hit that subscribe button and hit the like. Turn on the notifications so you can come mock with us because we get these mock drafts going four times a week. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So fun. Got to get your reps in. This is our version of going to the batting cages. We got to get these reps in. We're going to the gym. We're shooting our three-point shots. Whatever analogy you want to use. Super fun time drafting with the crew. And so in this one, I'm going to go. I'm forcing the ultimate zero RB. Forcing the ultimate zero RB. And the man... I totally need to put this damn Instagram over here because I'm missing people's shit. <laughs> and so fuck me all the drafts, man. So far, I've not gotten CMC one. So you're not getting CMC at number three unless you're lucky. So yeah, you're just, you're really not. Marco said, how about a zero wide receiver and QB strategy? Do it. I've done it. I've done all of them. I've done all of them. But yeah, well, because I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm getting my reps in for sure. But I'm doing this for content like as well, trying to do different strategies, see what they actually end up looking like. Double QB there. There goes Barkley off the board. Amon round Barkley. That's a really good start. So I'm just thinking for this draft that I'm in, I'm taking Lamar at three or Josh Allen if he falls. Yeah. So you're going QB no matter what with that first pick. That's something you're already set on. With the three pick, you can you can definitely you can definitely make some moves and plan how you like for that first pick. Because really, you only need to have three choices, and you get one of them. There we go. Let's see it. A lot of RBs going early. Ooh, Sam Laporta potty. Here we go. Kyren, Anthony Richardson doubling up on the QBs, huh? Uh, yeah, we'll go Puka right here. See where Marco goes. And Toyota one said, "Yeah, let's play RB Chicken Hus. I got you. All right, me versus you. Let's go. I'm ready." I'm ready. I'm two rounds in. Here we go. Marco's doing the opposite. <laughs> Jerry B's doing the opposite. Let's go. The Ravens just signed Russell Gage. I didn't even know he was still around. All right. Since he's my third, I'll get Marvin Harrison Jr. there. And for this one specifically, if someone's going to go zero, like an ultimate zero RB, Probably because they want someone like Marvin Harrison. But there we go. I got, I'm beating you right now, Toyota One. I'm beating you, bro. I got three picks in. I got three picks in. No RBs yet. I'm ahead of I'm ahead in the race. DOZ, please let me have Dakota. I know I almost took him right there. But uh we went with the rook instead. Went with the rook instead. Marco said Ayuk might go to the Browns. I feel like the Browns are probably more likely than the Patriots. Or at least that would be like one of the top ones. Here we go. A lot of RBs going off in this round. So if you're a Uke, you must be royally pissed. Those are your only two options, New England and Cleveland. Depends on what the bag's going to end up being for him. And he didn't... I guess everyone's got to remember it's funny because uh, I know there's a bunch of people who are just like, man, he doesn't want to win. He just wants the bag. Man, do people like... He said that he wanted to win. They're coming at him with bullshit offers. What's he supposed to do? That's what I don't get. What the hell is he supposed to do? Uh-oh, I'm on it now that I moved the chat. Adima on IG. What up, bro? Hey, Kidda in the house. What up, homie? Getting some mock drafts going. We got a few more mock drafts that we're doing if you want to jump in. This is number two. We might get three or four by the time we're done with this morning show. And me and Toyota One are playing RB Chicken right now. Let's go, Toyota One. I'm ready. I'm ready. 
I'm gonna win this. I'm gonna win this RB chick. Oh man, he just took the lead on me. He just took the lead on me. He's got four players now. I've only got three. <laughs> He's got four. I've only got three. Ooh, there goes Stefan Diggs. Man, see, it was funny yesterday. Captain Captain Spock. He was like, I've never seen Diggs go above Nico in a draft. And it's crazy when you only play in the same. Like you only mock in the same type of places or with the same people, or maybe it's just with the computer with the same ADP or whatever. And yeah, that's why, like when you do it with real people, like a couple weeks ago, it was Nico who was getting drafted higher than Diggs, but it's like flip-flopped in the last like two weeks. Johnny said, as soon as you said RB chicken, they're going to start two rounds early because now it's going to make it even harder. Like we announced it. We had two of us announced we're going RB chicken. And yeah, look what we're going to have to deal with like now but that's what we signed up for let's go kid said dig should not get drafted before nico why though because i i could see it going either way why do you think though oh no what the hell man my shit's freezing there we go dude what is up with this oh man what is going on with this Marco, slow play your pick. Take it all the way down if you can. Oh, thanks, fucker. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm back in there now. There we go. Look at that. Whoo! Five wide receivers strong. Look at that. <laughs> Nico as your fifth. Marvin Harrison as your third. That's insane. And I know Puka's hurt, but uh, it don't matter. It's just for fun anyways said nico long-term asset but we're talking about redraft right now though not dynasty and he said the bigger body tank is going to take away Diggs' real value why though because Diggs like runs like all routes he's not just a deep just he's not just a deep threat guy and why would tank take away Diggs' value like Diggs is so much more talented than tank dell like Diggs is and has been one of the best route running wide receivers in the nfl and that was even before he made josh allen or that's even before he made josh allen the stallion Wild stallion! all right i'm in the lead now toyota one what up zeb he said going wide receiver strong yeah we're playing qb we're playing we're playing qb chicken kid said tank already more efficient if we're gonna judge in entire career compared to what how, eight games i don't know like i i just i can't do that i can't do that because there was no digs in front of tank dell last year like now there is now he's even farther down on that pecking order let's not forget dalton schultz got hurt like as well and i know that like dalton schultz and tank dell they're not going to be doing the same things but that's still another mouth to feed that's going to be ahead of the pecking order on tank dell I think the Tank Dell hype is just like super out of control. Like, really. I used Tank Dell and Kyren Williams to somehow get like Josh Allen. Took more players than that. But I, I, the hype is real. I know that. Oh, yeah. The Wild Stallion. Wild Stallion! Marco said, all of a sudden, a bad reception. I'm sitting two yards away from my internet. Man, and I don't know what happened on mine. Yeah, my nothing was working. Nothing was working. He said Stroud going to feed Diggs. Doesn't want drama. Offense to Nico, but Diggs is more talented than Nico. Like, I know he's getting up there in age, but come on. Diggs is going to be the number one on this team. And it's going to benefit Nico because now he's going to be going up against number two cornerbacks. But Diggs is the number one. When it's all said and done, I truly believe that barring injury of all three guys play all 17 games, Diggs is going to have more targets. Gonna have more receptions, probably have more points. Would he have more touchdowns? Man, I don't know. It could be between him and Nico for more touchdowns. Yeah, see, look, that's just not being honest. Diggs is not the number three. Not in real life. And he's not gonna be the number three in fantasy either. I just don't think that's that that I don't know. That's just not being honest. You don't trade for a guy like Diggs and make him your number three. No, nah, not especially not with what he's getting paid. Dang. I think just based on Tina's pay a guy 22 mil for him to be the number three. Yeah, that's just, 
just logically, that's never going to be the case. Like, you got to follow the money. Got to follow the money. Zach said Nico's the touchdown guy. Diggs is the target guy. That's what I'm saying, but it's not like Diggs isn't going to score touchdowns. He's so useful when you get into the red zone and into the green zone. But, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that, thinking that Nico could be the guy to lead the, the wide receivers in touchdowns. He's probably the, I mean, he's. I don't know if Joe Mixon's going to come out there and <laughs> score 10 plus touchdowns. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Yeah, when a girl walks- so that might be the, uh, that might just be the thing. Nico ends up leading the Texans in touchdowns in general. But yeah, I feel like targets and yards, though, I bet goes to Diggs. I'm not saying Tank Dell's not going to do good if he gets six to eight touchdowns and flirts with a thousand yards somehow, like I'm sure that's going to be good. But what if he only has 70 catches, something like that? Like you've seen guys throw down 70 to 80 catches and get close to a thousand yards. Johnny said, I feel real good about my game of wide receiver chicken now. Yeah. Who are you playing wide receiver chicken with? Everybody already now bakes. I guess bakes did beat you. If he was playing wide, if you were playing wide receiver chicken with him, here's what sucks. Toyota one's going to beat me no matter what, just because of the way that this works out. Unless he, unless I don't fill an active roster. Zach said it'll be a high volume passing offense for the Texans. That's why I like Stroud a lot this year. Yeah. Cause you don't even have to be right on who, if you just pick CJ, <laughs> if you just pick CJ, you get all of them, you get all of them. I guess what sucks is if people play in leagues where it's only 25 yards per point, then that kind of sucks. I like in all the leagues that, that I play in and that I commission, it's all 15 yards per point. Yeah, see, he got me, man. He got me. I'm going I'm to have to take an RB first unless I'm going to fill an un- uh, inactive roster. And I feel like that's not even a good, I feel like that that's not even something good to do. So I guess if he's beating me anyways, I'm just going two RBs with my next two picks then. And then we'll get whatever we can in the end because that's going to make my team look better. And I still waited all the way until the end of the eighth round. He got you, bro. He got you. He waited until the sixth. He waited until the sixth. I'm a little nervous about Puka's injury. I know they say that it isn't. I know they say that it isn't serious. And I just picked him there just because even end of the second, like late, that's still that's still pretty good value where he's getting them. And uh, I guess we never discussed the rules of this draft, but I wonder if it was getting the starters, then I could have won. <laughs> then I could win. But I would just assume whoever takes the first RB loses. That's what I assume. And I'm going to lose anyways. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go, Zeke. All right. A little bit early, but got to make sure we lock in someone good right there. Fergie. Who would be the pick right here? Who would be the pick right here? I feel like an ultimate zero RB kind of guy is going to be someone where there's not too much at competition either. Let's go, Devin Singletary. And kids said 22 million that high. I don't, I guess I'm not sure how to like respond to that because 22 million isn't high compared to what compared to the highest paid wide receivers in the league. Cause like he's the 16th highest paid player in the league. How many wide receivers play in the NFL? He's the 16th highest paid of all of them. So I don't know how that's not high. <laughs> I, I really don't know how that's not high. Zach said, I'm lowering Puka in my rankings. I feel like everybody is right now. He was going high second round to already falling to the low second. Hey, OTB Flyers on the block Flyers. What up on Twitch? New follower. It's going down, bro. We're getting a mock draft going. We got another one coming after this. I went with my ultimate zero RB strategy. I like the, obviously the running backs like suck and I have to pick a tight end. That's another thing. If I'm going to fill an active roster. Just said Nico and uh, tank will earn more in their due time. But yeah, but I'm just saying we're talking about redraft leagues. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about like years in the future or anything like that. We're talking about this year and this year only. 
At least that's what we were talking about. I know you're like changing it around to the dynasty, but that's what we're talking about. We're talking about. So yeah, three years from now. Yeah. Tank Dell may be like way better than Diggs, but I'm talking about right now. What the fuck? Oh, that was weird. It was like, why was that highlighted? I said, I actually love my, my squad for this mock. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. I don't like Trey McBride. That's just me. I don't really like Spears too much. And Kidda said Tank and Nico are better in 2024. Define better. Like better stats. More hyped. Because I, I feel like this is this, this is just like the fantasy Twitter like take. Oh, Diggs is old. Diggs is old. Where is that? Simmons is old. I don't know. Barring injury, I don't even know like how... What's FPS? What's FPS? I'm blanking. I guess we're going Schultz. All right. Rate the two teams that were going QB chicken. Who did it better? Obviously, because of the... Obviously. Obviously. Because of where I was getting... I, I was going to lose no matter what as far as the RB chicken went. Crispy says so championship squad right there. <laughs> Dino <laughs> said, damn, my last pick was supposed to be Hopkins. Fat finger slipped. <laughs> All right, there we go. For everybody watching this on replay, I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Turn on those notifications so you can come mock draft with us on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Everyone watching live, hang out because we got another one coming. And for everyone watching on replay, look at all the videos around. Click on them. Click on any of them. Click it now. Click it now.